Well, thanks for coming out here today. My name is Michael Moriarty. I'm the Chief Financial Officer at Charter Oak State College, and it is fantastic to see the community come out here for this ribbon cutting. And so uh, I will say whoever picked this date, I think they're in the crowd. Thank you for picking it this week instead of last week. Um, we don't have enough ponchos on supply to, uh, to give to everyone. So. Anyway, um, we're gonna make this brief. What we're gonna do is we're gonna say some brief remarks and then um, we're gonna get into the ribbon cutting. But before we get into that, uh, I just wanna introduce the folks up here on, uh, I guess, stage with me. Um, I know a lot of you in the audience, um, but I do wanna make introductions. And so I'm gonna start to my right here. And this is uh, Joyce Petrella. She is the president of Charter Oak State College's foundation. Thank you, Joyce, for all of your service. Nicole Bosco, who is the executive director of the downtown New Britain district, if I got that right. And if I don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> the, uh, we have Danielle P Pantone. Is that, did I get that right? Danton. And she is a student of not only Charter Oak, um, but she's also a graduate of CT State Community College. Um, and I'd say, which, which campus did you go to? Okay. Manchester campus so we are honored and this is our VIP here today so thank you Danielle for joining us I have the president of Charter Oak State College Ed Klonowski to my right and I have the president of CT State Community College uh, to my left Dr. John Maduco thanks for joining us the chair of the Board of Regents Joanne Ryan thank you Joanne and Chancellor Terrence Chang and uh, a very close friend of mine during this project, uh, the Vice President of Real Estate for CSU, Keith Epstein. Thank you for all your hard work, Keith. And the President of the Greater New Britain Downtown Chamber of Commerce, or Chamber of Commerce, uh, Dee Babkirk. And uh, thank you so much for coming out. Excellent. All right, so my piece is almost over. Thank you for bearing with me. And to kick things off, I'm going to introduce uh, Terrence Chang, Chancellor Chang, to come on up and start things off. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you uh, to the entire New Britain community here. Um, thanks to all the folks who made this happen. Um, it's a lot of work. I, I was saying that one of the last times I was here, I walked into the, the kind of front entry area, and this time when I walked in, I didn't recognize it at all, right? Because it, the space has genuinely been transformed, and I think that's a real testament to the work that goes in for everything from planning. Thank you, uh, VP Epstein, and all the people who actually do the labor of building out these spaces. Um, I'm incredibly happy for the staff, right? The folks who actually come to work here each and every day, there's a real sense of energy and pride that you can take in this space and it's emblematic of all the work that you all put in as well and the last thing i'll say is i think it's wonderful that we have three really remarkable entities you know powerhouses of education here in the state concentrated here in new britain we have central Connecticut state university and president toro is here today with us central is an amazing institution of course we have our new Community College that has 12 campuses, CT State Community College, uh, led by. I'm gonna have you hold this. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. Right. My fault. Did I nope. break something? I got some no? people in the okay. back going like this. So okay. That's my Sorry. Only Sorry. time I'll interrupt. <laughs> Is that better? Is that better? Yeah. I'm just kidding. Okay. Uh, I, I was saying that. Um, President Maduco is the leader of CT State Community College, a massive endeavor to bring that um, entire operation together. And then, of course, we have Charter Oak, you know, and I think Charter Oak just doesn't get the credit that it deserves. The people that Charter Oak serves, the outcomes, the productivity, and the impact in industries and in just across the state, lifting people up, giving people the opportunity for education that they would not have otherwise. And that is because of President Klonowski and his incredible team. They go in there and they battle for you all and for us each and every day. And so a heartfelt thank you to President Klonowski because he's a warrior, he's a champion. We couldn't ask for better leaders. And I want to thank, even though she's not here today, she's about to have a baby like any second right now, uh, Mayor Stewart, one of our regents as well. She's incredible. She really helps to lead this city um, in, in really uh, incredible ways, remarkable ways. And last but not least, I want to 
uh, introduce my boss, the chair of the Board of Regents, Joanne Ryan. I could not ask for a better leader for the Board of Regents. She is nothing but heart, passion, and soul, and hard work for the state. So thank you all, Joanne Ryan. Thank you, Chancellor. And it's, wow, is it tough being his boss? <laughs> we should all be so lucky. Hi, everyone, I'm Joanne Ryan. Uh, my day job is um, President and CEO of the Northwest Connecticut Chamber of Commerce, but I have to say that my heart is truly with the Board of Regents and Education because I, I know how vital it is to all of us. Uh, but I uh, welcome all of you here in this beautiful community in this wonderful setting, and thank you for arranging this. The day is perfect. Uh, I'm deeply honored to represent the Board of Regents for Higher Education as their chair. It allows me the opportunity to celebrate with all of you and to see how wonderful this environment is for learning. And it continues to be enhanced and grow, and I just see the best for it in the future. Today's ribbon cutting is more than a renaming of this building. The resolution that the Board of Regents passed last month cited the renaming as a reflection of the shared commitment of Connecticut State Community College and, U and Charter Oak State College to provide quality higher education while enhancing the academic landscape within the New Britain community. Today, I'd like to also acknowledge President Maduco, President Klonowski, our president, our, our chancellor, and all the wonderful, wonderful people in this uh, crowd who are doing everything by their actions and demonstrating the limitless possibilities and collaborations that are gonna bring us into the future in a very, very positive way. So thank you so much and I'm honored to be here. Thank you. I wrote it down so I won't go on too long. On behalf of Charter Oak, I want to thank you all for being here to celebrate our new space. I'm particularly pleased to see our business partners, our alums, our faculty, the downtown district, and our system leadership here today. As you know, Charter Oak is focused on delivering skilled graduates ready to advance their careers for Connecticut employers. President Maduko and I are also very pleased that the board agreed to name this building the New Britain Center for Higher Education. We think the name honors our two institutions and the city in which we reside. The mayor's not here, but this line's for her. We look forward to bringing our collective energy and buzz to the hive. <laughs> Thank you. Now a little bit of personal stuff. Uh, good things come to those who wait. This project to move the college from its two buildings into one has been our dream for 18 years. We are thrilled to be here and to be in such a beautiful space. But this is only part of our happy story. Charter Oak has often felt like the forgotten sibling because of our online focus, but now we share this building with CT State, our system's largest institution, and I believe that our proximity to CT State will accelerate our ability to collaborate. I also believe that our system can accomplish more together than separately, and we honor that truth today. We have Danielle Pantone here to help us cut this ribbon because she is a product of one such collaboration. Charter Oak offers a scholarship to every CT State graduate who chooses to attend Charter Oak for their bachelor's degree. That scholarship offers them a bachelor's degree at the same tuition they paid at CT State. To date, we have served 753 associate degree recipients at, for an aid package of a total of $3.3 million. So after graduating from Manchester, Danielle used COC to, to finish her bachelor's degree in psychology, and now she's enrolled in our master's degree in organizational leadership. My last line. She represents a Connecticut learner who's working on her education using the CSU system for every piece of it. All right, John. All right, good afternoon. I am sweating like the rest of you, so I'm gonna keep this short. Uh, John Maduco, president of CT State Community College. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Chair Ryan, thank you for your kind words. Chancellor Chang, uh, President Toro, um, you know, Central Connecticut has been here for a very long time. I think close to 170 something years, I believe, give or take. 75, 75 175 years, right? So their institution, our system um, is the epitome of public higher, higher education and we're so honored uh, to continue uh, that legacy. Um, one of the first leaders that connected with me was President Ed Klonowski. And I believe his message was, are you ready? 
good luck. If you don't drink, start drinking, all right? Um, but in all seriousness, really just, you know, he extended his prayers to my wife and my family and really welcomed me uh, as part of the CSCU family. So I'm really happy for Charter Oak State College. Not only do we have that tuition match, but the collection and constellation of institutions within our system represents the most affordable form of public higher, higher education in the state of Connecticut, right? And we're really proud of that. Right, and now that we have this online giant um, with a home, we're gonna continue that. Um, Danielle, right, awesome, right? Like, Great. you know, you are, you are the example of what hard work and education and commitment looks like, and we wanna kinda continue your legacy with future students, so thank you so much for being here. And then last but not least, for all of you out there who are thinking or have family members that are thinking, I'm, I'm too old, I work too much, I have too many kids, we really have options within our institutions at Central and really across the state. So please, we have CSCU employees, Charter Oak, CT State, Central and the crowd. Please connect with us. We have options and opportunities for you. Really proud day. We'll be working on our third and fourth flow in some decade down the road. But today is about Charter Oak State College. We're happy for them. And again, thank you so much for being here. Hello everyone, my name is Danielle Panton. I'm currently a master's student at Charter Oak State College, um, focusing on organizational leadership, hoping to transition into human resources, but I did come back to start my degree in 2020. I was able to earn my associates at Manchester State College, come on over here to earn my associates in psychology, bachelor's in psychology, graduated last year and hopefully graduating this May in organizational leadership. The best part was probably being online, not just a tuition match program, but being able to work full time, go to school full time. I don't think this opportunity would have been given anywhere else. And I just want to thank everyone that's been here, whether you know or not, you've definitely helped me get to this point. So thank you very much. Excellent, it is time. So if I could have the two of you do the ribbon and folks I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and do two pictures here oh, go ahead. oh yeah yep, right in front. And if you could center yourself right on the podium yes the three of you could move to yeah. the center yeah give, give them a little room they need some room to actually yeah, well, cut thank it thank you yeah there we go Yep, and before you make the cut, we're actually gonna try and do two pictures. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a picture that's facing this way, and if the other folks wanna come on in, you could come on in, and then it would be a miss. I mean, there's so much of the community here and the folks who really make this a great place. What I wanna do is I wanna do the first picture this way, and then let's take a picture this way, where we stand this way, and take the whole group photo here, because it's really all of us that matters, right? Instead of trying to have everyone up here, let's do it that way. So the first one's going this way, second picture's going this way. So Danielle, this moment is all about you. So when you're ready. Ready? All right. I guess when the photographer's ready. Right. <laughs> Hey. Thank you so much. All right.